Okay, so I'm going to take a look at this uh, question. It's a logs question from 2017 higher level paper. Um, it's the one with Sapphire City and Avalon City. So you may have seen this question before. Um, it's a long question. Um, has a lot of logs in it, um, and it's a, it's a question that tends to give a little bit of trouble. But it is also a question that if you're confident with your logs that you can actually get a lot of marks in it. Uh, you see it was worth 55 marks, um, so it was quite a big question. So let's jump straight in. Um, we're told sometimes it's possible to predict the future population of a city using a function. The population of Sapphire City over time can be predicted using the following function. Uh, P of t is equal to s e to the power of 0 0.1 t times 10 to the power of 6. And the population of Avalon over time can be predicted by Q of t is equal to 3.9 e to the k t by 10 to the power of 6. In the above uh, functions, t is time in years and t equal to 0 is the beginning of 2010. Both s and k are constants. So part A, the population of Sapphire City at the beginning of 2010 is 1,100,000. Find the value of s. So the function that we're using is p of t is equal to uh, s e to the power of 0 0.1 t times 10 to the power of 6. Now we're told at the beginning of 2010, which is t equal to 0, the population is this much. So it's 1,100,000 is equal to s e to the power of 0 0.1. And remember, t is 0, so times 0, times 10 to the power of 6. Now, 0 0.1 times 0 is just 0. e to the power of 0 is the same as anything to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So that means e to the power of 0 0.1 times 0 is 1. s times 1 is s. So that gives us 1,100,000 is equal to s times 10 to the power of 6. I want s on its own. So simply divide both sides by 10 to the power of 6. 1,100,000 divided by 10 to the power of 6, s is equal to 1.1. Okay, so part B, find the predicted population in Sapphire City at the beginning of 2015. So the beginning of 2015 is going to be t equal to 5. So beginning of 2010 is t equal to 0. 2011 would be t equal to 1, 2012 t equal to 2, etc. 2015 t is equal to 5. I also need to remember that s is equal to 1.1 and then I can just fill in and see what the population is. So the, pop, the p population at 5 years is equal to 1.1 e to the power of 0 0.1 times 5 times 10 to the power of 6. Now you can pop that straight into your calculator as it is. Just be careful with your brackets and, and everything there. Um, sometimes there are mistakes that, that can be made when you're typing in something with different uh, different parts into your calculators. Just be careful and um, maybe check on your calculator that you get the same as what I got. So P of five, so the population at the beginning of 2015 is 1,813,595. Part C, find the predicted change in population uh, in Sapphire City during 2015. So we know what the population is at the start of 2015. So if we just find the population at the end of 2015 and take away the population at the beginning of 2015, that would work. Another thing that would work would be to do uh, 
the population at the start of 2016, which would be P6, uh, because the end of 2015, you can assume, is the start of 2016. So it would be P6 minus P5. So whichever way you, you would prefer to do that yourself is fine. I'm going to do P6 minus P5. So P6 is 1.1 E to the power of 0 0.1 times 6 times 10 to the power of 6. I'm going to leave that in brackets there like that. And it's going to be minus the P5, which is 1.1 E to the power of 0 0.1 times 5 times 10 to the power of 6. So again, you can type that straight into your calculator as it is there. Just be careful with your brackets and your signs and everything. You should get the change in population equal to 1 million sorry, uh, 190,737. Okay, let's move on to part D. So part D, the predicted population in Avalon at the beginning of 2011 is 3,709,795 people. Write down and solve an equation in k to show that k is equal to minus 0 0.05, correct to two decimal places. So first we need the, the function uh, for Avalon City. So the function is qt is equal to 3.9 e to the kt times 10 to the power of 6. Now it's k that I'm looking for. Now at the beginning of 2011 t is equal to 1 so I can sub in t equal to 1 and instead of qt I can put in this number here. So uh, that is 3,709,795 is equal to 3.9 e to the power of k times 1, which is just k, times 10 to the power of 6. So I want to isolate this k, so I'm going to have to divide by, first of all, this 10 to the power of 6. That would move the decimal place over 6 places there, so that'll give me 3.709795. And then at the same time, I'm going to divide by this 3.9. So that will give me 3.709795. That's dividing by the 10 to the power of 6. Divided by 3.9. That's dividing by the 3.9. That's equal to e to the power of k. So now this is a, a logs question. So we're going to go ahead and use logs to solve for k. So it's uh, e to the power of k. So it's the log base e of this is equal to this. So the log base e, which is the natural log, but you can write down log base e just fine, of 3.709795 over 3.9 is equal to k. You can type that into your calculator as is, and you get k equal to minus 0 0.05, which is the answer that they were looking for. Okay, on to part E. So part E, find the year during which the populations in both cities will be equal. So if they're both equal, that is P of T, the population in Sapphire, is equal to Q of t, the population in Avalon. So what we do is we let the function for this equal to the function for this. So that's 1.1 e to the 0 0.1 t times 10 to the power of 6 equals 3.9 uh, e to the power of minus 0 0.05 t times 10 to the power of 6. 
Now the first thing that I notice and that hopefully, hopefully you have noticed is that both sides have 10 to the power of 6. So we can divide both sides by 10 to the power of 6 to make it a lot neater. 1.1e to the power of 0.1t is equal to 3.9e to the power of minus 0.05t. Now, I'm looking to find t. So basically, I want to get anything with t on one side and anything with uh, out a t on the other side. So the things with t is the e to the power of 0.1t and e to the power of zero minus 0.05t. So if I divide both sides by e to the power of 0.1t, that'll get rid of the e on this side and the t on this side. And then if I divide both sides by 3.9 at the same time, that will get rid of the 3.9 on that side. So that'll give me 1.1 over 3.9 is equal to e to the power of minus 0.05t over e to the power of 0.1t. I don't need to do anything to this side. I can just leave it as that. You could go put it into your calculator and see what it's equal to, but there's no need. You're just asking to make a mistake if you go calculating this out at the moment. What I can do at the moment is I can tidy up this side using laws of indices. I have one divided by the other, same base, different powers. It's this power minus this power. So it's e to the power of minus 0.05t minus 0.1t is minus 0.15t. Now I'm back into using my logs again. So it's log base e of this is equal to this. So I'm just going to go up to here. Uh, log base e of that 1.1 over 3.9 is equal to that minus 0.15t. One more step to isolate t on its own is divide both sides by that there. t is equal to the log base e of 1.1 over 3.9 divided by 3.9 divided by minus 0.15. This here, you can type straight into your calculator as it is to get t is equal to 8.44, correct to two decimal places. Now, what year is the question? Find the year during which the populations will be equal. So t equal to 8 will be the start of 2018. So t equal 8.44 will be during the year 2018. Okay, part F. Find the predicted average population in Avalon from the beginning of 2010 to the beginning of 2025. So the average population, we're looking for basically the average value of the function. So remember the average, average value of the function is equal to 1 over b minus a times the integral of from a to b of f of x dx. So we want to find uh, the average value of the function for Avalon. So for Avalon, the function was uh, 3.9 e to the minus 0 0.05 t. And we're going from 0 to 15. So a is uh, 0, b is 15. So the average value then will be 1 over 15 minus 0, which is just 15, times the integral from 0 to 15 of 3.9e to the minus 0.05t times 10 to the 6 dt. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is 
I'm just going to integrate this 3.9e to the power of minus 0.05t. Uh, the 10 to the 6 can actually come outside because it's a constant. So that would give me uh, 10 to the power of 6 over 15 times. Now, if I integrate this, so to integrate something times e to the power of something, you divide by the power, uh, the minus 0 0.05, and then you leave the e to the power the same. So what you get is 3.9 over minus 0 0.05. So divide by this, and then e to the power of minus 0 0.05t. And I'm going to evaluate that from 0 to 15. So to evaluate that from 0 to 15, it's 10 to the power of 6 over 15 times uh, this with t equal to 15 minus this with t equal to 0. So that's 3.9 over minus 0 0.05 e to the power of minus 0 0.05 times 15 minus the same thing with 0 instead of t. So 3.9 over minus 0 0.05 e to the power of minus 0 0.05 times 0. Now, that might look very complicated to you, but if you go and type it into the calculator properly, it will give you the answer straight up. Be very careful and um, maybe put brackets around that. You have brackets around this. Make sure these brackets are there. I would probably put that fraction in brackets, that fraction in brackets, just to be careful. You can never use too many brackets in your calculator. Hopefully, you will get the right answer if you type that in. 2, 7, 4, 3, 6, 9, 4. So that's 2,743,694. So I'd say to you now is type this into your calculator and see if the answer you get is that. If it's not, you're making some mistake with how you're typing things into your calculator and just try and fix that error until you get this answer here. Okay, so on to the last question here, part G. Use the function q of t is equal to 3.9e to the power of minus 0.05t times 10 to the power of 6 to find the predicted rate of change of the population in Avalon at the beginning of 2018. So here's my function, q of t is equal to 3.9e to the minus uh, 0.05t times 10 to the power of 6. So rates of change, we're looking at differentiation here. So I'm going to differentiate this function um, and then let t equal to 8 to find the rate of change at the beginning of 2018. Now to differentiate this, it looks a little bit awkward for me at the moment. So what I'm going to do is, this is 3.9 times e to the power of that times 10 to the 6. So I'm going to move this 10 to the 6 out in front, uh, just to make it a little bit neater and a little bit more familiar. So 10 to the power of 6 times 3.9 uh, e to the power of minus 0.05t. Um, I'm going to put that 3.9 in brackets there as well. So, so that gives me a qt equal to 10 to the power of 6 uh, times 3.9e to the power of minus 0.05t. So just this is just making it a little bit easier for me to differentiate. So q of t, when you're differentiating e to the power of something, you multiply down by the coefficient of the t, and then it's just, you leave it then the same. So it'll be minus 0 0.05 times 10 to the power of 6 times 3.9e to the power of minus 0.05t. Now that's uh, q dash t. So now q dash of 8 is same thing, except t is equal to 8. So 
minus 0 0.05 times 10 to the power of 6 times 3.9 times e to the power of minus 0 0.05 times 8. And you can just go straight to your calculator with that. Be careful of your brackets again. And you get q dash of 8, which is the rate of change at the start of 2018 is minus 130,712. So that is that uh, at the start of 2018, the population in Avalon is decreasing by 130,712 per year. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below um, and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can.